Shalom. I just want to say that, um, first of all, I just want to give all the steam to Abba Yahuwah because he is so amazing, you guys. Um, I had mentioned in my last video about the different things that was going on. And it turns out that <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with the alternator in my car. As a matter of fact, we can't find what's going on with my car. My car is still shutting off. have no clue as to the reason why. So the only thing that I can possibly think of is this is something that Abba wants to happen. So he has a will. He has a purpose. And I am just fully submitted to whatever it is he's doing. And it could very well be that he's protecting me from something. Regardless of what the reason is, all I know is he is doing something and it's not my business or my place to fight him on this. And hallelujah that he still has provided me with a, a means to do the things that I need to. So have your way, Abba Yahuwah. But I said that to say like more and more at my job, especially um, because I may or may not have mentioned that. I value more of organic, um, organic, <laughs> organic um, interactions and relationships, meaning they're not forced. It's just something that naturally comes about. And the reason why I value that is because it's genuine and authentic. Um, nobody's putting on a mask in order to appease or please the other person, because usually when you do that, it's for ulterior motives, which are usually um, unclean. Most of the time they're unclean. But more and more lately, I've realized that I have been used to talk to my coworkers like about Abu Yahuwah, his kingdom. And, you know, even yesterday, my um, immediate manager, like she asked me, you know, why? Because every year she brings like candy in like candy packages in for Halloween and I we had had a conversation me her and the general manager and I told her I said well I can't have any of that stuff and so yesterday just out of the blue she asked me you know what is the reason why you guys don't you know have candy or if I bring candy packages can you have it you know on the first of October like she was asking questions and then she asked more and more questions about um why it is that I do what I do, even down to the fact that I had to let her know that this is not a religion. This is literally a way of a life. This is how you live your life. A religion is something that you practice whenever you have the time. But this is this is how we live. It's a culture. I mean, being a Native American is not a religion is the way they live is the way the native americans live being chinese that's not a religion that's you're chinese you, there you have a culture it's your culture and it's the same thing with being a child of yahuwah an israelite and that is an israelite whether it be by blood or you know through well we're all israelites through yahusha hamashiach but you know what i'm saying whether you're a gentile that was grafted into the cultivated olive tree or you come from the cultivated olive tree regardless none of that is relevant if you are an israelite you're an israelite and it's your it's your culture it's your nationality it's not it's not a religion it's it's literally how you live 24 7 365 days a year um and the 365 of course you know i'm going by the babylonian calendar but anyway said all that to say yesterday i woke up and even the night before last, before I went to bed, I had started to feel a little funky, but I was like, you know, it's okay. Then I woke up yesterday and I just I still felt, I felt bad, but it wasn't bad enough for me to call out of work. Then when I got to work, I just started feeling worse and worse and worse. It felt like that, it felt like I was coming down with something. And I was like, okay, I don't want to throw up any red flags or any alarms or anything. So I just, I finished my job. I came home. And I made me some tea and I sat down and I just rested and since then I have been reading the word I have been well reading the Sefer I have been um, praying and talking to Abba and just listening to some worship music here and there I have watched YouTube videos and as you know I try to watch YouTube videos that are edifying for my Ruach and not just random things although I will admit 
Sometimes I do watch the funny animal videos. Thanks to my son. I'm sorry. I love animals. <laughs> And tornadoes. I don't know. I have a thing about tornadoes. And, you know, if I'm wrong for that, please pray for me. <laughs> like, but anyway, I said all that to say, I realized that without taking any medicine, no medicine, just spending time with the father, I don't feel bad anymore. Like, my head stopped swimming. I didn't feel like there was a weight on my chest anymore. And it even felt like like on the inside of my chest, you know how it feels when you're starting to get sick, how your chest feels, that's how it felt. My my throat had started to feel a little sore and scratchy at the back and it had started, you know, felt like I was, it was swelling up a little bit. And I started sneezing a lot at work, which usually means that I'm about to come down with something. That's how it starts off with me. And then my whole body just ate. And I do do a very physically demanding job, but I've been doing it for a while. So it's, it's like I get paid to exercise. So my body is, for the most part, used to the repetitive physicalness of my job. I mean, I literally, I work five days a week. So it's like I'm, it's like I exercise eight hours a day for five days a week. So I'm fine. But the reason why I'm saying this is because, like I said, I got in his word. I got in his presence. I praised and worshiped. And I feel none of those things anymore. And I think it's very important that I say I speak those things because we need to understand that he he is our salvation. He is our salvation. Yahushua HaMashiach is our is our way out of all this bondage that the world puts on us. And sickness is bondage. It's bondage. Notice I didn't say that I took NyQuil. I didn't take any DayQuil. I took no medicine, none, not a piece of medicine. And I was tempted to. My father even asked me because I had told him when I was at work, I told him to start drinking some tea so his, his immune system can boost up. Because, you know, my dad will be 71 this year. You know what I'm saying? Like his immune system... You know, he's older. So I told him to start building up his immune system so he wouldn't get sick. You know, I give, you know, me and my son, we take vitamins and whatnot. But still, at the end of the day, my dad had asked me, you want me to go get some medicine? You want me to do this? You want me to do that? I did nothing. I did none of that. When I got home, Ruach HaKodesh led me to just spend time with the father. This morning when I got up, I felt found myself just spending time with the Father and then going through his word like he was giving me revelation and there will be a future video on um, that revelation right now. He's instructed me to take the, the words that he spoke to me and meditate on them before I make that video. But just making this video, I just want you guys to know like <laughs> spend time with him. Spend time with him. And if you spend time with him and you still wind up with some type of sickness or whatnot, understand that he's righteous. His plan is righteous. Like, there's a reason for it. And just seek him as to what that reason is. But it, the way I know that it was not in his plans for me to get sick is because I became well. The The sickness that was attempting to come upon me did not, it didn't stick. It wasn't able to stick and hold because that was not of him. So he didn't allow it to overtake me, nor did he allow it to overtake my household. I just want to point that out. I really want to point that out. Anyway, <laughs> this is like my Shabbat outfit, you guys. It seems like I'm always wearing this on Shabbat. Today is Shabbat. It might not be whenever you watch this video, but the day I'm recording it is Shabbat. <laughs> it seems like I always have this dress on. <laughs> it's comfortable. I'm not going anywhere or doing anything, so I'm comfortable. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Um, much ahav and shalom to you. And until next time, shalom, Malakim. <laughs>